What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we're here with another toy review from Marvel Legends series Venom, and this is Carnage, with the Cletus Cassidy head and the Monster Venom spare head that uh, will be put on the Build-A-Figure. And then obviously we have the Carnage head there, we got some extra hands, some blades, all that stuff. This is pretty much very similar to the previous Carnage figure that came out, and I'll do a comparison later on in the video. But for now, I just wanted to show you kind of the box, what it looks like, um, obviously the Cletus Cassidy head, the Build-A-Figure back here, and some of the art on the side. This thing looks really cool, and since it's been so long since we got this video, I apologize, so let's not wait any further, and let's dive right in. Reading from the back of the box, it says, Merged with the toxic Venom symbiote, Cletus Cassidy hones his psychopathic tendencies as the merciless villain known as Carnage. And yes, this figure does look really great. And I was actually really excited because there was a red smudge on his nose when I got the figure, and I was really scared it wouldn't scrape off. But luckily, with a little bit of scrape from my nail, I was able to get it off, and he looks perfect. So that's great. And I love the molding here on the axe. Uh, as we know from the comics, Carnage was able to create solid objects, unlike Venom, who could only make, like, liquidy-type stuff. And he could make shields and things to, like, you know, absorb bullets and, and block bullets. But he could never make a hard construct that he could use to stab or kill somebody with. And that's pretty great. So this looks fantastic that we have these uh, demonstrated in the molds. And we do have alternate hands, which we'll put on here soon when we switch the heads. But then you also got all these other tendrils coming off of them. And some of them are kind of part of him in his hands here. They're kind of weaved in. But this one is actually detachable. You can actually take this off. Um, but uh, I, why would you? Like, this thing is just looking too cool, and I love the design of him overall. And, of course, he has all the standard uh, points of articulation. He has the ball joint in his shoulder. You can hear it clicking there, which is great for stability to hold up this axe, which is very much needed. Uh, then you have the elbow joint. You have the wrist turning as well. Same with this hand. Everything's the same. You got the torso bend. Uh, you got the waist swivel. You got the ball joints in the legs, and then the swivel in the upper thighs. The knee bends in two spots, as usual from all these characters. And then you also have a thigh swivel and you have an ankle joint on a ball that can move it any way, uh, forward, backwards, and side to side. So you can get perfect you know, balance if you need it for this character. And I'm definitely gonna probably pose him, now that I know the Cletus Cassidy face hasn't been messed up too much, I think I'm gonna pose him with the ax. But the ax does add weight to the front of him, so it gets a little harder to balance him. But when you do, he looks pretty awesome. So now let's take a look at the alternate heads and the alternate hands. Speaking of changing heads, also we have the Venom monster head that comes with Carnage as well. And he's going to be something we'll use in a future video. Once we get all the pieces, we'll build Monster Venom and I'll show you guys what he's all about. And here he is with this Carnage head, which looks really awesome. It's got the black around the teeth, which I know a lot of people out there really like. Man, that looks so good. I'm digging on that big time. And then also you have the new claws, which are just, you know, knife shaped fingers pretty much on both hands so you don't have the axe you don't have any other things coming out of it any extra tendrils it just looks pretty standard and the reason why this is probably not the way i'm going to pose him or have him you know with these you know, hands and face and stuff is because they've already made a figure like this and that would be this character here uh, as you can see they're almost identical and this came out a few years ago in the Marvel Legends line and I had to get it because you know I didn't have a Carnage figure at the time but I do now and I have two and so one is going to be posed with the Cletus Cassidy head but this one on the right here is one of the older ones so you can see Hasbro just used all the same pieces and just added some new stuff which I'm totally okay with plus mine had a, like a really broken torso so this guy has always been hard to stand up like he falls over really easily sometimes and he has a bad leg as well like back here in the hip area he just bends and falls really easily so i've always had a problem standing him up as you can see he keeps tilting over here so i will probably find a way to prop him up in a different way and then have this version with the cletus cassidy head and the axe hand be more prominent in my collection but overall i really like this figure and i want to know what you guys think if you have any thoughts about it let me know down below these retail for about 22.99 roughly between 20 dollars and 23 dollars each you can get them at gamestop you can get them on amazon you can get them uh, anywhere you can buy toys walmart if you can find them i know there's a lot of people out there that like to go and buy these things right when they come out and leave none for collectors or people who are just casual fans so that's kind of a bummer but if you do get your hands on one you know i would say they're worth it up to 25 dollars thanks for watching my video as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the future peace